ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢኒሲቲዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በስድስት ወር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምህራን እየተማራ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ኦኬ ሶ ፋር ዌ ሀቭ ቢን ዲስከስ ዲ ኒው ፕሮዳክት ዴቨሎፕመንት ፕሮሰስ ስታርቲንግ ፍሮም idea generation to commercialization of the product so once we generate the product so we have to go through different process to develop the product and introduce to the market and finally you know we have to protect this product from you know the competitors so how entrepreneurs you know protect their product from competitors and benefited from you know having this product so there are uh, legal protection this legal protection is known as intellectual property right intellectual property right so this intellectual property right includes patent right trademark copyright and trade secret this for legal or intellectual property right is important for the entrepreneurs to benefit from their product so unless the entrepreneur protect their product from competitors so the advantage will be you know taken over by the competitors So in this case entrepreneurs protect their product either of this for techniques. So let's proceed to one of the intellectual property right which is granted by the government. Intellectual property right granted by government is known as patent right. This patent right is given for the entrepreneurs for creating something new. or for improving you know the existing uh products improving existing innovation and so on or service so patent is simply a contractual agreement it's an agreement between the government and the inventor or so called entrepreneur so this contractual agreement for uh creating something new or for improving something you know or improving the innovation so in this case this contractual agreement is given for the entrepreneur to benefit from their invention so this patent right will provide exclusive rights to enjoy the benefits of you know possessing the patents So patent right provide exclusive right for the entrepreneur. So in this case this patent could be either in the form of utility patent or design patent. Uh, uh there are also additional uh, patent but th- this patent is not uh you know described in this core I mean and this uh, material which is known as plant patent plant plant patent is given for you know entrepreneurs who invent a new innovation in you know plants hybriding plant bringing improved species of plant and so on if someone uh bring now have new hybrids of plant which is not found in nature so this right is given as plant patent 
and the patent. So in this case, even if it is not described in this content, so you have to know there, there are also patent, uh, plant patent. So in this material, there are two major types of patent, right? Which is utility patent. This is granted for inventions of uh, or functional improvements of existing innovation. Existing innovation. So this is given to protect any new invention or functional improvements of existing innovation. And the other could be design patent. This is given for the appearance of an object. Appearance. If you develop you know, a product with a different appearance, not the function. So this is given as you know, design patent. If you develop a new original ornament or a kind of uh, manufacturing design, so you'll be given a uh, design patent, not utility patent. The utility patent is given only for new invention and improvements of existing invention in terms of function. But design patent is given for, you know, the originality of uh, or simply the appearance of an object, an object. If you develop a different sculpture, so that's, you know, a different appearance than others. So you'll be given uh, design patent. Design is given for designers most of the time. So this either utility patent or design patent will provide exclusive right to the entrepreneurs. So once the entrepreneur uh, own this exclusive right, so the entrepreneur had the right to hold that patent, the right to hold, or the entrepreneur has the right to transfer to someone. It's the entrepreneur's right. Or sometimes the entrepreneur may license for the others or may sell for the others. It depends on the will of the entrepreneur. So in this case, you know, having this patent, you know, ensure the entrepreneurs has exclusive right on the product or either the machinery or the process. Uh, there are different, you know, patent given to entrepreneurs. So what kind of product or service will be granted or what can be granted to produce or for a particular product or service. So in this case, process can be granted a patent process. Either it could be a utility or it could be design patent. Machines are also given a patent. Machines. If you produce a particular machine that dispense, you know, a different uh, service or provide a different service. So you will be uh, given different patent, either utility or it could be uh, design. Sometimes you may be given a patent for a combination of you know, physical matters not found in nature not found. So this is man-made, so manufactured. For manufactured physical matter could be given, you know, either of the two patents. It could be design patent or it could be uh, utility patent. Composition, composition of matters. If you develop a particular chemical compound or if you develop a medicine, Medicine is simply a combination of uh, different products, I mean, different uh, 
uh, compounds. So in this case, so you'll be granted either utility, uh, most of the time utility patterns for composition of matters. So entrepreneurs, you know, uh, ensure, you know, their invention through utility or design patterns. So the other protection technique or intellectual protection uh, right could be a trademark. Trademark is simply uh, a symbol. It could be word or it could be a design or a combination of both. It could be word with symbol or design with word or it could be with symbol. So in this case, if you do have a trademark or a symbol that you know, specifically describe your business or your product or your service. So this will ensure, you know, the protection of your product. So trademark, sometimes, uh, you know, it could be slogan. Slogan means, or it could be a distinct name. It could be like uh, Coca-Cola is a name, a name. Or there are also a symbol that describes what's Coca-Cola. So there are some uh, slogan. Slogan is a motto. Uh, okay. Uh, so, develop a patent. You know, unlike patent, trademark is indefinitely or it will uh, last for a long period as far as the business exists. But trademark depends on um, patent, it depends on the country's law. It could be for 10 years or it could be for 30 years or it could be depending on the country's law. So the Ethiopian commercial law has you know, different trademark or Ethiopian uh, intellectual property right or uh, there are you know, agency that guarantee intellectual or patent rights. So depending on the country's law, so the time will be determined by the agency. But trademark, as far as the business exists, as far as this trademark continue to function, it will be you know, indefinite. Indefinite, unlimited time. But patent is for a limited time. Patent. So in this case, we have to develop or we have to register our trademark in the country's commercial law. We have to register. Now, what's the benefits of you know, registering your trademark in the country's commercial law? So, in this case, the benefit of registered your trademark would be it provide you know, notice to everyone that you have exclusive right to the use of market or mark throughout territory limits of the country. So if you register your trademark, you are you know, exclusively benefited from those products. So the trademark should be registered. Otherwise, the trademark may not be recognized as your own you know, exclusive right. So it entails to sue in a federal court for you know, trademark infringement. If someone take your product or your trademark or your symbol, so you can sue in a federal court. Since you do have exclusive right in this registered trademark. 
and you will have uh, you can establish in a constant right over your trademark and the other benefit could be it establishes the right to deposit registration with custom to prevent importation of goods with a similar mark if you register in trademark or if your product you know registered in specific trademark so you do have the right you know to prevent importation of goods with a similar product i mean a similar trademark so in this case you will have you no know, different benefits and it entitles you to use the notice of registration registration could be if you registered with a trademark so you will have you know the notice with you know r in circle r in circle so that indicates you know, registration of trademark this indicates registration of trademark So you can uh, provide the basis for filing the trademark application. So uh, the other intellectual property right could be copyright. Copyright is given to prevent other, others from printing, copying, or publishing any original works of authorship. So copyright is given for artistic works, artistic, like you know, music or books. There are sculptures, there are different artistic works. So this exclusive right or this uh, intellectual property right ensure you know, the producers with you know some additional benefit so copyright provides exclusive right to creative individuals for protection of literacy or literary or sometimes artistic production Mute. So this is a kind of uh, property right or property protection right. So particularly this is given for you know, original works of authors, including literary, dramatic, uh, musical activities or artistic works. There are you know, different artistic works, poetry, novel, movie, song, computer software, architecture, these all are given you know copyright so the purpose of providing this copyright for this individual or creative individual is to benefit the individual from their artistic works so uh, usually copyrights are valid for the life of the inventor plus few decades so as far as the owner exists so this owner or this individual has you no know, copyright protection and few decades two decades or it could be four or it could be one depending on the nature of their product or their artistic work
So in this case, we can uh, have protection either through patent, trademark, or copyright. So this intellectual property system in Ethiopia, you know, ensure you know the or benefit the entrepreneurs or individuals with creative skills. So this is you know, the uh, the system how to grant copyright or trademark or it could be you know, copyright patent copyright or trademark. This is the system in Ethiopia. There is a separate legal entity that provides this intellectual property right. So what type of uh, inventions are given copyright or patent right and so on. So in this case, invention is contrary to the public order or morality could not be given exclusive rights. So, or this is a proclamation that excludes Zoom <laughs> So this is uh, different types of uh, products or services that might not be in a given patent. Of this, pro this type of product is excluded from you no know, patent rights. So trademark directives. There are different directives issued by you know, the Chamber of Commerce or the Commercial Law of Ethiopia. This is some of the directives. The directive is. You know, issued in 1986. There are also different directives issued in a different time period with regard to copyrights. Now, in copyright, there are different individuals participated in you know the proclamation development process. There are different uh, copyright laws with regard to audiovisual work and architectural work, as well as uh, works of authors or like books. So you can further read, you know, different proclamation. This is, you know, a short and precise proclamation. But if you, if you further investigate the proclamation or directive itself. You know, copyright protection right or uh, intellectual property right like patent proclamation, trademark proclamation, copyright directives or proclamation. There are a number of uh, proclamations, so you know, the details are very, very vast. So, in this case, uh, you can further read the uh, proclamations. So to summarize the unit, so entrepreneurs first identify the business idea 
and develop or pass through different promotional or different uh, process and finally develop the product and deliver to the market. Now, once the entrepreneur introduce their product to the market, you now there are a number of competitors that take over their products and start to produce. And the entrepreneur may not be you know, benefited longer once the, I mean, the competitor take over their product. So to avoid this, to protect their product and ensure long-term benefit, so they can take copyright protection right or intellectual property rights or they need legal framework to protect their intellectual work. So in this case, the country's law and regulation provide a different protection to their product or intellectual work. Either patent, copyright or trademark. This is you know, important you know, legal framework that ensure the benefits of the entrepreneur or the individuals with creative work. So this intellectual property right ensure you know to hold, to transfer, even to sell their product or to their uh, customers or even to license for competitors. They can do. So this is how to protect their products. Okay, before we proceed to the next chapter, you have to. In your context, you have to explain you know, different products or uh, you can identify products with different patent rights and the trademark in your surrounding. Identify a specific product with a patent or a trademark. Um, uh, patented products, you know, with a patent, patented product or product with a trademark. Is there anyone who identify product with property right or exclusive right? Copyright or property right in the way patent. Right hand of product, you meet up with Kaka Vetch. Ambassador. Ambassador. So the trademark is. Yes? Manko. Yes. Is it trademark or patent? Trademark. Yes? Trademark. Business or two? Trade Okay. Is that madam? Is that madam? And the company which under the company which is a uh, yes, so uh, the Copyright Copyright. Okay. Patent Mandelos. Patent Mandelos. Anyone? Patent Mandelo. Yeah, or uh, yes, on a symbol, there is a chart comment that can Okay, that's a trademark. Trademark, oh, yeah. If you protect, 
if you protect your product from competitors, not using, I mean, not producing your product in terms of, you know, symbol, in terms of name. Lazi, many barale trade market barale. Pattern came in the nose. Lam Sari. Pattern came in the low. Uh huh. Lam Sari and Fetrasar and Nai, one in your so Yan Nagar and Dedegmo, Wemland, so Yam Rubnam, any baron termat. The sooner was Yam Rubn the rest of the Kamal. Becca, ah, so I only own a Fetrasar and Tangara, Yan, Yanta Pattern Satar. ስለዚህ <laughs> Doctor actually, I'm not sure. For example, I'm not sure. 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 That's okay. Lamsale and then patent Pattern of you know the natural pattern if you develop. Now what has also called Beethoven and it our professor yeah can pattern to support you. Thank you much. Yeah, machine learning develop your own. Next question. Doctor Danacho, Doctor Danacho, Malakura Danacho, Doctor Malakura Danacho. Doctor Gabisa Jata. Professor. Professor. Professor Gabisa Jata. But I don't know. I don't Rasu Fatarara, Drukel and Dior Nikopa Margo Metona, and the Hennet and Tensipa plant patent writing. So there are a number of patents. Patent is given by the government. Shall we think and lay at the chair? Okay, waiting is soon on the Salim. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Lorit Plant pattern to me go on, different species and on, species and on, catafodro pattern which develop your corner, plant pattern is a natural mallet, plant pattern. So there's your, your fetaras rasiba, the species, you would want natural growth nation, plant pattern try to barrel. So this is given for the entrepreneurs so or individuals with you know creative work. Utility. Utility. The function yes. utility, utility, mallet, a disinvention, said Fertig. 
ወይም ያለውን ኢንቨንሽን ኢምፕሩቭ ካረች ዩቲሊቲ ፓተርን ሲሰጥ ቻል ማለት ነው። በተመረት ካፈ ብሎ መብረር ይቻላል ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይ ስህት ኩባንያ ከከፍተኛ ትምህርት አግባብነትና ጥራት ኤጀንሲ ሙሉ ቅናን ባገኘንባቸው በማስተርስ ዲግሪ MBA በስትራቴጂክ ማኔጅመንት MBA በባንኪንግ እና ፋይናንስ MBA በቢዝነስ ሊደርሺፕ MBA በሪስክና ኢንሹራንስ MSc በኢንተርናሽናል ትሬድ እና ኢኮኖሚክስ ዘርፎች በእውቀት ለመቅረጽ የበቁ ፕሮፌሰሮቻችን አረንጓዴ መብራታቸውን አብርተዋል በነገራችን ላይ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በሚመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች የትኩረት መስክ ትምርቶቹ መሰጠታቸው ልዩ ያደርገናል በመርጥ የትምርት ስርዓት የተገነባው ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በመጀመሪያ ዲግሪ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት አስተማማኝ ትምርት ይገብዩና ራስዎንና ሀገሮን ይለውጡ አድራሻ 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይ ስህት ኩባንያ ህልሞን አሁን ያደርጋል shall we proceed to the fifth chapter or any question if you have any question with regard to the previous chapter any question So uh let me ask you a question let me ask you a question have you ever taken any marketing courses before Yeah is it again my sir on copyright in my Yes copyright my Mhm uh just etelemeda ayna sira hulu Mhm beras menged ashashilo sira no adelle copyright mi ba ye copyright gim tegebero አሁን ሁለት አይነት ነገሮች አሉ ያው እንግዲህ እናንተ ታስተውስከውኔ ኤሪያ ኦፍ ኢንቬንሽን ወይም ታይፕስ ኦፍ ኢንቬንሽን ያልናቸው ነገሮች አሉ። ወይም ታይፕስ ኦፍ ኢኖቬሽን ታይፕስ ኦፍ ኢኖቬሽን ኢንቬንሽን ካለን ዩ ካን ብሪንግ ሰምቲንግ ኒው ፎር ዘ ፈርስት ታይም ሶ ዘ አንተርፕሪነር ኢዝ ዘ ኢንቨንተር ዘ አንተርፕሪነር ኢዝ ዘ ኢንቨንተር ኦር ዩ ካን ሞዲፋይ ዘ ኤክዚስቲንግ product or service so in this case this is a kind of you no know, duplication or expansion expansion or extension innovation extension if you modify it if you you know replicate or duplicate the existing product so that's known as duplication invention if you combine the existing product with a new concept a new concept and bring you know different modification so that's known as synthesis there are four types of innovation so if you modify the existing invention so you will be granted utility patent you are modifying the existing product or invention Bene. Ah. No, okay. So, have you ever taken any marketing courses before? No. Is the marketing course you said so all like as if it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you said that. I've said it. Okay, okay. Marketing so what do you think about marketing? Okay, okay. Okay. So, uh but the word is used every day, every day. As far as there is a product, as far as there is, you know, uh a transaction between two or more than two individuals. You no. Know, 
people you know gain what they want is through different you know ways you can get, you can get what you want to have is you know either through production if you want to have you know a certain product so you can uh, get this product either through production you can produce or sometimes you can get this product through uh, you know, other modalities which is an exchange an exchange you can give you know a certain value for which is equivalent to that product you know there is a transaction between two items either in terms of barter trade or in terms of uh, monetary value you know an exchange item with item is barter trade barter trade or you know an exchange between an item with a monetary value is you know nowadays it would become you know marketing or, or it's an exchange or sometimes you can get what you want is through you know uh, but this is not a marketing concept uh, so you can get through you know begging people you know uh, get what they want is through begging is that not so you can see arak nagaroch ni takamal yemifelugut neger lemagilet malet arak nagaroch yemejemara mindno exchange no exchange mello yallenen neger በመያዝ የለለን ነገር መለወጥና መጠቀም በገንዘብ ሊሆን ይችላል አቃም በቃ ሊሆን ይችላል እ ወይ ለነ ለመን ይችላል it's a kind of uh, what you know ways of you know obtain what we want and then the moment ለናረብ ይችላል coercion ይባላል አሁን coercion ማለት መንጠቅ መቀማት ምናም የምንለው ማለት ነው ስለዚህ የስላይ ሞገዶችን ተቀባለን ግን the legal and the right process of obtaining what we want is you know an exchange exchange is the core concept of you know marketing the core concept so in this case marketing is simply a process the process so in this case through marketing so we can identify the customers need so in this case is marketing is simply the process since it is the process it should be you know, defined in a different ways you can define marketing is the process of identifying the customer's need and deliver a product that satisfies the customer's need that's you know uh, the definition or simply this marketing is an activity that generates or facilitates you know, an exchange to satisfy the intended needs of human being so in this case we can identify the customers needed and deliver a product that satisfy the customers need so there are a number of definition forwarded by different authors so you can differentiate marketing from a market marketing is the process market is simply a customer a group of buyers and sellers you know, interested in negotiating in terms of purchase or sales of goods or services if you refer marketing books there are a number of definition a number of definition but the central point of all definition would be you know, identifying customers need and deliver a product that satisfies the customer's need so in this case there are 
marketing philosophies. There are marketing concepts. We have to know in marketing, you have to know the basic concept of marketing. You have to know the basic concept starts from you know what's need, need, what's want, what's demand. You have to know this is the basic marketing concept. In addition to this, so we can also identify what's an exchange, what's transaction. And what does mean product? What does mean product? So these all things indicates you know, uh, the marketing process. So in this chapter, we we'll see we we'll see the basic definitions of marketing and the marketing philosophy. So, marketing is simply a functional area of one organization. You can define marketing department or marketing as a functional area. It could be in a responsible areas or a responsible functional area within the organization to meet the customer's demand. So, who is responsible to identify the target customer? Marketing department. So, the marketing activity could be identifying the target market and develop a product that satisfies the customer's need. So, in this case, there are different definitions. So, uh, let's uh, see a few of uh, this definition. So, the first definition is, you know, developed by Philip Kotler, well-known marketing writer. So marketing is a societal and managerial process by which an individual or group obtain what they need and want through creating, offering, exchanging of goods or products of value with other values. So in this case, this is, you know, a modern definition. That's a societal and managerial process. So as a definition forwarded by the American Marketing Society, could be the process of planning and execution or executing means simply implementing the conception, pricing, promoting, distribution of ideas and goods, service to create an exchange that satisfies the individual or group objectives. So this is marketing management or simply marketing is the creation and delivery of standard of living to the society. So through marketing, you can create standard of living and deliver this standard of living. Or simply, marketing is an effort, an effort to identify and satisfy the customer's needs and wants. So marketing involves finding out our customers so that's why marketing is the process of identifying customers and once we identified the customers so we have to identify what their wants and need and we have to set the price for that product and you now identify the level of competition so there are a number of definitions a number of definitions forwarded by different writers. If you refer to you know, different marketing books, you'll find you know more than you know hundred definitions. But the central point of all this definition could be at the process and the responsibility to identify the customer's need and want and 
satisfy these products by implementing or by producing different types of goods and services. So, uh, in marketing, you have to know all these concepts. All this concept. This concept is known as the basic marketing concept. So, in as a marketer or someone who has taken marketing courses, you have to know the meaning of need, want, and the demand. These three terms are, you know, integrated terms. Now, uh, different writers about need. So human needs are, you know, classified into five hierarchy of needs, according to uh, Abraham Maslow, hierarchy of need. Starting from basic need to self-actualization. So in this case, you have to know what's need. Need is simply the state of filthy deprivation. So as a marketer, so you can't create need, but you can identify what are you know, the needs of those customers. And if you remember, you know, all human beings need food, all human beings. You know, the need for food is simply the state of deprivation. This state of deprivation is known as hunger. So how we are going to satisfy our hunger is through different goods and services or products. So the ways of, you know, uh, how we are going to satisfy our need depends on our culture. It depends. You know, all human beings need food. You know, we to get, you know, need food as, as a human being, but we need a specific food, specific to Ethiopia, which is, you know, shaped with Ethiopian culture. So in this case, when we get hungered, or when we need food, we need what? In general, is what? But I'm here about you. And then it's half life, and I'll check the car of it. In general, the door of the land, but the road is our you know, uh, traditional food also, but with some you know, event. So, in this case, we need in general this word. Someone in other culture, like uh, America, or it could be in Italy, somewhere else than Ethiopia. They need, you know, a food. What type of food? Shaped with culture, their culture. What do you think about it? What kind of other food related with their culture. Lazi, need means a state of felt deprivation. Want is, you know, a need shared with culture. Need shaped with culture is known as wants. So, to satisfy our need, we have to purchase the product or the service. So the ability to purchase and willingness to purchase that product could be a demand, the demand. So in this case, Need, want, and demand is the core concept of marketing. So this need, want, and demand is satisfied with the product. Product is anything that can be 
offered to the market anything it could be it could be uh, goods good says you know tangible or physical or the tangible part of the product is goods service the intangible part of the product the intangible you may mention the number of service or a number of goods so you are using maybe a mobile 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 phone so that is you can touch you can see it so that's good so you may have you know a pen or kind of rough paper that could be goods so this teaching and learning process is a kind of service kind of service so service is intangible you can't touch or sometimes goods could be an idea it could be an idea it could be a business idea or it could be you know idea is simply suggestion intention and your thought it could be so this would be a product your idea could be a product so product is anything that can be offered to the market or anything that can be offered to the customer could be a product so you have to know what's product so the value the cost and the satisfaction is another form of or another core concepts of marketing value you know indicates you know, the benefits of the product the value is the benefit and to get the benefit of the product so you have to pay some amount of money in return the amount of money paid for the product could be a cost could be a cost the difference between the benefit of the product and the cost of the product could be satisfaction or it could be dissatisfaction. Could be. So when you purchase a particular product, so you expect something. Your expectation, if your expectation and the real value of the product, so you have to compare both of them. If your expectation exceed the value or the real value of the product, so you'll get an ex I mean satisfied or you'll be satisfied. If the real value of the product less than your expectation, you may get dissatisfied. If your expectation meets the real value of the product so you will remain satisfied if it far exceed your expectation so you'll be delighted you'll be delighted so in this case you have to know you know this core concept is value cost and satisfaction there are also exchange transaction relationship and network marketing and marketer prospector this is all things are you know basic concepts of you know marketing exchanges you know uh, the process of simply it's a process exchange transaction is the end points of the process the transaction process so in this case you have to know what's customer mean so you have current customer and you have potential customer in your business so in this case you have to know who are your customers who are the customer so in this case, there are different techniques to classify your customer. So you can segment the whole market into you know few segments, 
few segments. Segment means smaller portion of the market, smaller portion. So in this case, once we identified our customer, so we have to develop or we have to identify our customer's need and try to satisfy or we have to identify a product that will satisfy the customer's need and want. So in this case, this is the discussion of the core concept is a discussion. So you can uh, identify what's need, want, and demand. These three terms are interrelated, which comes first the need. So to I mean to satisfy the need, we have to identify the satisfiers. The satisfiers are the products or services. So to purchase this goods and service could be a demand. So in this case, marketers cannot create a need, but they can identify the need. So product anything that can offer to satisfy need or want. It could be a product or it could be, I mean, it could be goods or it could be service or it could be an idea. So this is some of the discussion about, so what's value? Value is the customer's expectation. So you may expect something from the products. So while you are purchasing the products, you may expect the three things you may expect. The benefit, which is the actual, I mean, uh, the core product value, the benefit, benefit. So you may purchase a cell phone or mobile phone. So the primary objective of you know purchasing that phone could be you know communication. So the additional value could be sometimes psychological value. You may purchase very expensive mobile. So that has some psychological values. So in this case, there are different types of values. Value is simply uh, the expectation of the customer about the product. So cost simple, the amount of money paid for the product. Exchange is an act of obtaining a desired product from someone by offering something in return. So, an exchange is the process. It requires you know, two parties, the buyer and the seller. And there must be equivalent value. Equivalent value. So, if you want to obtain something, so you have to give and return you know, as a value. So, the value of this product should be you know, equivalent. Transaction, since you know, an exchange is a process, the end point of the process could be a transaction. So the trade value between two parties could be transaction. Transaction is the end points of the exchange process. So market simply potential customers that share you know, a particular need and want and willing to buy a certain product. So this is some of the basic concepts. And we'll see marketing is, you know, why it is important in all organization. So marketing function exists in either business or non-business organization. Even NGOs require a marketing department. Since marketing department play, you know, a communication role with the externals. So the importance of marketing in any organization. One of the major importance of marketing department is to create utility. Utility, the measure of what? Satisfaction. So in this case, using marketing, you can create 
for utility for simply converting the input into an output. So marketing department, this is you know, responsible to create you know, for utility. So once they identify, the marketers identify the customer's need, so start to produce product that satisfies the customer's need. So in this case, when they start to produce the product, so they have to take the input and they transform the product into an output. So marketing function create form utility. Form utility means simply transform the input into an output. And the other could be place utility. So marketing department take the product from producer to the consumer through agent, wholesaler or retailer. And they create transportation. So this transportation utility could be a place utility. Place utility. The other is time utility. So whenever customers require the product, marketing department is responsible to deliver at the right place at the right time the required product. So time is or time utility is created by marketing department. So information utility. Marketing department is responsible to provide enough information about the product to their customers. So marketing department play informational role to provide to their customers through different you know, means of advertisement. So in this case, information utility is created by marketing department, position, transfer of you know, uh, title. If you purchase a product from producer, the title of the product is transfer from producer to the consumer. So transfer of utility is you know, processed by marketing department or facilitated by marketing department. So in this case, this why marketing is important to create these five utilities. Form utility, place utility, time utility, informational utility or information utility, and possession utility. So marketing, is, marketing department is important in every organization, marketing department, which is responsible to create these five utility. So in this case, this is certain activity. So you can imagine, you know, a recent purchase, you made it, recent purchase. Marketing department see shatter lachu and as you have to utility arch. Imagine Marat Chilach for utility. Yam Salegazachu to car, come in the Tesara, Mark Chilan lachu. Made from input. And when you require that product, that product may be, you know, made from uh, somewhere else out of Ethiopia. And you know, marketing department is responsible to you know deliver the product at hand when 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 you require it. So in this case, these all things are you know uh, created by marketing department. So uh, in this chapter, what you have to know is what are the major philosophy or principle followed by any organization. There are around five principles in marketing. Five principles. This principle you know, provides a different 
a different strategy for their organization. So in this case, what are those marketing principles or marketing you know, philosophies? So this marketing philosophy is important to adapt a different strategy. So the first marketing philosophy, any organization follow you know, either of these five philosophy, either of either one of them. So in this case, production philosophy, organization that follow this principle or this philosophy, produce a product in large quantity with a lesser price and make accessible to all customers at their principle, regardless of identifying the customer's need. So their principle indicates you know, or states if customer gets you know, cheaper product everywhere, regardless of their need, they can purchase. That's their philosophy. But this is a kind of old philosophy. Old philosophy. The product principle or philosophy Companies that follow product principle or product concept, regardless of the price, whenever you produce high or superior quality product, customers are interested towards, you know, high quality products. So their principle states, so in any situation, you have to produce, you know, high quality product regardless of the customer's need, since quality matters. So this is their principle. The selling philosophy, regardless of the customer's need, whenever you advertise, whenever you, you know, conduct aggressive promotion with regard to your product, Customers are interested towards this a product with a highly promoted or highly, uh, you know, uh, following selling principle or product with you know high advertisement. So in this case, this is a kind of philosophy. So this three philosophy is a traditional philosophy. Traditional. The modern philosophy, which is the marketing concept. And instead of producing the product and you know, go to the market, first you have to go to the market and identify the customer's need and back to your company and produce the product in accordance with the customer's need. That is their principle. This is a marketing principle. So marketing principle is, you know, out in approach, out in approach. The previous approach is in out approach. Production, product and selling concept is in out. So produce the product and, you know, go to the market, in out. Marketing principle is out in. First, you have to know the outsider's need, which is the customer's need, and produce the product based on the customer's need. So this is out-in approach. The last modern concept of uh, marketing is societal marketing concepts. So in addition to marketing, in addition to identifying the customer's need, you have to take care of the society, or you have to consider the society's need in addition to you know, the customer, which is a little bit broader marketing concepts. So in this case, not only provide you know, products, or not only you know, provide customers with you know, a product which is developed based on the customer's need, you have to take care of your environment, the society's environment. So in this case, societal marketing uses a recycling concepts. Not only provide the customers with 
you know, the necessary product. You have to take care of the environment. So environmental protection policy also implemented in societal marketing concepts. And the modern and recent concept of marketing is a relationship marketing. So instead of identifying target customer and develop a product, first you have to create a relationship with a customer, a relationship. Once you develop a relationship, so this customer will create a partnership, partnership. So once you develop a relationship with the customer, so you can develop, so you will have, you know, permanent customer. You will have permanent relationship. So in this case, you can develop a man, I mean, a product that satisfies this uh, customer. So in this case, this is, you know, be discussed in detail, but we have been discussed the major concepts. In production, what you have to know is producing and available the product with a lower cost or produce the cheapest product. Most of the time, this philosophy is not followed by the Chinese company. Whenever you produce a product at a lower cost and available everywhere, so customers will purchase it. So this is the Chinese product philosophy or most Chinese company follow this concept. Product concept, most of the time, Japanese company philosophy. Not, you know, when I say Japanese and Chinese, but it's not always true. There are also companies that follow marketing principle, relationship, societal marketing. But, you know, companies recognize the ways, you know, quality product, regardless of the the customers need so they can produce high quality products. So can you tell me which uh, you know, product is high quality in our country? The Japanese product or the Chinese product in our country context? China? Yes. China. China. High, high quality. China product. China product. In our no. country. High quality Japan. No, high quality Japan. Japan. High quality. What I mean is high quality. High quality. Japan. Okay. So in this case, you know, high quality follow. Japan now. Definitely. So in this case, uh, which one is cheapest? Chance of the uh, Japanese product in our country? in general terms, the cheapest. Please. Yeah, definitely. Since they follow production philosophy, because they are you know, available, the product at the lowest cost. And high uh, product concept companies that follow innovative high performance product so this holds you know the consumer you know high quality or sometimes this may be you know a little bit costly selling promotion so what type of product requires selling the pro or sales concept or selling philosophy so there are different products that requires aggressive promotion. Do you have life insurance? Let's see, life insurance are one that can not toast. But not a agree. Life insurance. I know it is very important, life insurance. <laughs> but, and, but, and darling, call me a teacher. I am. Uh, but, uh, 
ሞባይል እንደሚያስፈልገን ምግብ ልብስ እንደሚያስፈልገን ሁሉ ኢንሹራንስ ያስፈልጋናል አይደል እንዴ? እኛ ጤናችን ኢንሹር የሚያረጋግልን ቢሆን ላይፍ ኢንሹራንስ ያንዚ ኢንሹራንስ ሊሆን ይችላል። ግን አስፈላጊ እንደሆነ ብናቀም ግን ያ ፕሮዳክት በብዛት አይኖርን አይኖርን ይሄ ደግሞ ምክንያቱም እንትነው you know there are few products that require aggressive promotion so customers may not be aware of this product or customers may not be you know aware about you know Uh, this product unless we are you know, conducting aggressive promotion na babzat ansot product ibaral we mansot goods ibaral enezi ne miyamert drijit min yasfelgawal we mikettelo approach selling approach we selling philosophy ibaral lemisale uh, ansot product yeminilacho ለምን ይመስላችኋል በብለድ ዶሜሽን ኤዝ ኢን ኢምፖርታንት ብለድ ዶሜሽን ዩ ኖ ዊ አንደርስቱድ ዴር ኢትስ ኢምፖርታንት ዊ አንደርስቱድ ቡት ዊ ፌልድ ቱ ዩ ኖ ፕሮቫይድ ብለድ ቱ ዘ ብለድ ባክ ዚስ ኢዝ ቢኮዝ ኦፍ ዋት ዊ ፌልድ ቱ ሪኮግናይዝ ኢትስ ኢምፖርታንስ ሶ ኦን ዚስ ኬስ ሶ ብለድ ዶሜሽን ኦርጋናይዜሽን or blood banks require aggressive promotion toward this this type of products so in this case you know certain products require aggressive promotion so those company that produces like insurance that provides insurance product or insurance service that provides for our products blood donation there are a number of products they require to conduct aggressive promotion what do you mean by aggressive promotion is the selling which means uh, they have to conduct you know uh, there are different types of promotion awareness promotion remembrance or sometimes uh, remember to remember there are some organization you know the product but they conduct different promotion so this is to remember or to remind their customers to remind so in this case they need to conduct aggressive promotion about the product so this promotion could be awareness creation reminding or sometimes it could be you know uh there are three level of uh, promotion awareness creation a selling promotion and reminder so you need to know aggressive promotion ማለት ይሄን principle የሚከተሉ ድርጅቶች ፕሮዳክታቸው አንሶት ፕሮዳክት ይባላል አንሶት ማለት important እንደሆነ እናቃለን ግን ምንድን ነው አሁን ለመግዛት ለምሳሌ አሁን ፉነራል ፕሮት ሲባል አንዱ ፉነራል ፕሮት ማለት ምን አልባት ይሄን የቀብር አስፈጻሚ ድርጅቶችን ታቃላችሁ አይደል? There a kind of business organization የሚሸጡት ቃል አለ። ስለዚህ አሁን ሰው በህይወት ያለ ያን ነገር ይገዛ በብዛት አይገዛም። በብዛት አይገዛም ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ምን ማረጋ አለባችሁ ማስተዋወቅ አለባችሁ ይላላንዱ ማለት ነው ብለድ ዶኔሽን ለምሳሌ አሁን ደም መስጠት በጣም አስፈላጊ የሰው ህይወት ሴቭ እንደሚያረጋግና ቃለን ሁላችን አረለ እንዴ ግን ሰጥቶን ያቀሰው አለ ከእናንተ ውስጥ አዎ ሰጥቶን ያቀሰው አለ አዎ ኦኬ ስንትዚህ ሰርታችሁ ይወዳል እስኪ ማን በላማለስ ፈልጌ መሰላት ኢምፖርታንት እንደሆነ እናቃለን ግን እንደሌላው ፕሮዳክት በየጊዜው ምናደርገው አይደለም በብዛት አሁን አይታች ኮርሆ በብዛት ብለድ ዶኔሽን ወይ ብለድ ባንክ በየጊዜው ማስተዋወቂያ ያሳራል ሰዎች ማረጋለበት ሞቲቬት ማረጋለበት ከፍተኛ ማስተዋወቂያ ካልተሰራ 
ይሄን ነገር ልናገኘው ስለማንችል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ selling promotion and emit when selling philosophy in me ከተሉ ድርጅቶች ከፍተኛ የሆነ ማስተዋቂያ መስራት አለባቸው ለመሸጥ ፕሮዳክታቸው ማለት ሌላው ያው ቀደም ያልኳችሁ ማርኬቲንግ ነው yes wabi tiyakalish wey malle so the marketing concept is you know starts from identifying with the customer's need and meet the customer's need you know uh, profitably so when we identify the customer's need and provide a product it should be you know uh, on a profit basis it should be so we have to meet the customer's need you know while meeting the profitability of the organization so in this case this is some of the point we have to you know compare and contrast the marketing and the saving approach so why we need to compare this to approach or this to philosophy sometimes people uh, may use interchangeably what's marketing and the saving so people sometimes may use interchangeably it seems to be you know, similar but it's different so in this case uh selling starts from the factory so produce what they do what uh what they have on their hand and you know go to the market that's why start from inside and go to outside but marketing approach which starts from the marketplace by then find the customer's need and you know the means the means of the advertisement should be you know selling and the promotion the selling and the promotion on existing products so they can promote their existing product aggressively and you know sell to their customers whereas in marketing first they do the the will identify the customer's need and you know use marketed or integrated marketing strategy or integrated marketing strategies known as simply uh, there are five marketing in market integrated strategies so in this case you know they are different in terms of profit so companies that you know follow selling philosophy so they will earn a profit through high volume of sales high volume of sales means you know so they are advertising aggressively and selling high volume of product and through high volume of product so they will earn a profit whereas in marketing so they will get a profit by satisfying the customer's need so their motive is different their motive societal marketing so in addition to caring about the customer so those companies that follow societal marketing concepts you know also care about the well-beingness of the society so it will enhance the consumer as well as the society's uh, well-beingness so in this case in uh, societal marketing concept there would be a question of resource or environmental problem so companies that use societal marketing also care about their environment they try to minimize the environmental problem through different means using 
green entrepreneurship, green means start to make green, which is, you know, avoid harming the environment through recycling and so on. So in this case, this is, you know, a different approach, different approach. So this is the evolution. This is the evolution. So the first philosophy, when you know companies exist, or during the traditional period, or during the early period, so companies follow production philosophy. So the, their focus is producing what they do have, and you know deliver to their customers at a lowest or affordable price. And next, it could be uh, product. Start to produce superior product. And then start to produce a product and create high or aggressive advertisement or creative advertisement to sell their product. And finally, it could be relationship marketing, finally of the 21st marketing approaches of relationship marketing, 21st century. So this type of marketing is focused on satisfaction of customers in long-term relationship. So this is how this marketing approach is followed by different organization. So next time we see marketing information system. Marketing information system. So we see what's marketing information system and what's marketing intelligence and what's marketing research and so on will be discussed next time. So if you have any questions with regard to the previous so welcome. ለዩነት መፍጠር አላማችን ነው አለም አቀፍ ተወዳዳሪ መሆን አለባችሁ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ጥራትና ደረጃውን የተጠበቀ ስልጠና በመስጠት ብቁ ዜጋ ያፈራ ነው በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ በቲኬቲንግና ሪዘርቬሽን በሆቴልና ቱሪዝም ሙያዎች አሰልጥነን ተወዳዳሪና አድርጎታለን ኮሌጃችን ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር አለም አቀፍ እውቅና ያለው ስልጠና እየሰጠ ይገኛል በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ የምንሰጣቸው ስልጣና ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪዬሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉ እና አለ አድራሻ ከጎላጉል ታወር 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እድ ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ህልሞን እሁን ያደርጋል